truth lies in the flame. Elfric, the day is wicked. We give our power to you. You must stop Vide. Rest well, my fellow gods. I shall put an end to Vide's wickedness. The truth lies in the flame. Do you truly mean to enshroud us in shadow? Now I am become chaos. Devourer of all life. Even you, foolish gods. All shall be mine. You have made your choice, Vite. And now my righteous flames shall turn you to ash! Flames, aid me. the best you can do, Elfrey. Enough of this foolishness. I shall devour you as well. <laughs> you cannot possibly hope to best me. See how the light fades from this world. No. What did you say? The flame has been entrusted to me. From its humble light shall a fire be lit, shining its light upon the darkness. I fight in me yet. My fellow gods, let us illuminate the shadows! I am eternal. I will engulf this world through the malice of the people. Burn bright, O oh sacred flame, from our hearts. From our hearts. 
What was the next line? Burn bright, O oh sacred flame, from our hearts. From our hearts. <sighs> what was the next line? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. It's dried the shadows from our hearts. Ah, yes. My apologies. You've a fine memory, young man. <laughs> Everyone knows how that part goes, Temenos. At least get your own performance right. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> now then, with that foible behind me. Elfric's flames consumed the wicked V-Day. And disaster was averted. The eight gods, their power drained, fell into a long slumber. They then became the sacred flame that keeps the darkness at bay. And thus, the people continue to live in light and warmth. For the sacred flame ever shines upon them. That was pretty good, Temenos. Except for the lines you forgot again. <laughs> You're quite a demanding audience. <sighs> when are you going to commit the story to memory, Temenos? Do get a hold of yourself, Inquisitor. I shall, Mint. Now, here are your candles of the sacred flame. Return to your homes, light them, and open your hearts. Let their warm glow illuminate every corner of your souls. Thanks, Sister Mint. I like your hair ornament. <laughs> Why, thank you. We are all born with shadow inside us. Shadow manifests in our worst instincts. Anger, hatred, resentment, and jealousy, to name a few. But the sacred flame drives these shadows away, leading us to the light. Your Holiness, please forgive the unruly scene. <laughs> Nonsense! The children seem to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> I pray that is the case. Might I have a word, Temenos? Gladly, Pontiff. Temenos, does the village seem at peace? It does, at a glance. But shadows lurk around every corner. And that, my son, is why I have a job for you. We've had no major incidents since I appointed you to the Inquisition. Since arriving here, I've felt forces mobilizing against the church. Hmm. Now I know your position as Inquisitor keeps you plenty busy. But I beg you to aid me, Temenos. I know I can trust you. Just as I trusted Roy. You shower me with undue praise, Pontiff. Are you two keeping secrets from me? Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, Mint. Grave secrets. Now then, I must take my leave. I have others waiting on me, you see. 
come to the cathedral this evening. I have much to tell you. Understood, Your Holiness. The truth lies in the flame. Who was that? I believe that was Lucian, a theologian from the Western Shore. What brings him all the way to meet with the Pontiff, I wonder? Is there no end to the pile of secrets in this place? I've a little while before my meeting with His Holiness. Perhaps a stroll through the town is in order. What's all this commotion? Listen to me, you fools! The church uses the sacred flame to deceive us. But the truth shall be exposed. The purge begins here and now. Open your eyes. The truth lies within all of us. You are the ones who must open your eyes. <sighs> A sanctum knight, are you? <laughs> Newly anointed, but yes. Why do you rage against the sacred flame? I beg you, look inside yourself and repent. You didn't say they'd set the knights upon us. Oh? I'll start the purge with this cleric. That ought to open your eyes. You'll see that the sacred flame protects no one. How dare you? Oh dear. It seems I've been captured. But while we're here, allow me to ask. You're a heretic, are you not? What? O oh, sacred flame, shine your light upon us. <laughs> Behold, the protection afforded by the sacred flame. Ah, oh, you saved us, Temenos. Thank him, not me. The Staff of Judgment? Uh, are you the Inquisitor? That I am. My word, it is an honor to meet you. Only the best among us are chosen to assume the honorable role of Inquisitor. I... I hope to one day join your ranks. Hmm. You're an unusual fellow. Do you have a burning desire to recount our history ad nauseum? Uh, our history. Indeed. What is your name? Crick, sir. I've been assigned to escort duty at the cathedral. Well now, I can certainly vouch for your swordsmanship. It appears the rumors are true. The heretics are mobilizing against the church. Indeed. The Sacred Guard increases its defenses as we speak. Unbelievable. What are those gods of ours thinking? Peacetime is no time to be lax in your duties. Did I hear you directing those words at the gods? The very gods you Inquisitors are messengers for. <laughs> There is such a thing as trusting too much, Crick. I dare say even our gods would be relieved at hearing such a frivolous comment from me. I'm 
must be dreaming. These cannot be the words of a clergyman. <laughs> Doubt is what I do, Crick. If you'll excuse me, I must go greet the pontiff. Then you had better turn around. The cathedral's not that way. P please. I've only just been assigned. Goodness, I must admit I fear for you. Come, my little wayward lamb. I shall guide you to the cathedral. What? wayward lamb? Right this way. Sacred flame guide you. Hmm. The sun hangs low. We can ill afford to dawdle. The beasts grow in number at night. Then we must steel ourselves and proceed with caution. <laughs> You're a stalwart companion. The Sanctum Knights are handpicked from among the Church's best. They're even called God's Blade by some, and reportedly capable of felling a thousand beasts. You may trust me with your life, Temenos. This God's Blade is with you. Hmm. Did my eyes deceive me? During that last fight, I was certain... Yes, I do believe you hid behind me the entire time. What? Why, that's preposterous! I swear on my reputation as a knight, I shall protect you. Then my eyes deceived me, and I meant no disrespect. I hereby place my life in your hands, God's Blade. Very good. You'll not catch me hiding, sir. Now, let us be off. Knight's duty to fight. <laughs> 
And here we are, my lost lamb. I beg you, cease calling me a lamb of any sort. My name is Crick, and you would do well to remember it. <laughs> my apologies, Crick. As I said, here we are, the Order of the Sacred Flames Cathedral. Are you quite prepared? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. This is certainly strange. It's locked. Your Holiness, tis I, Temenos. Hello? Are you in there? Would you be so kind as to open the door? I fear I shall catch a sickness. Did the Pontiff truly invite you here? I must say, I'm beginning to doubt you're the Inquisitor at all. Learn to doubt at last, have you? And yes, he himself told me to meet him here this evening. Perhaps something's gone wrong. How about it, Crick? Can a god's blade with one mighty swing... Cut through the door like a damned criminal? Absolutely not! Oh dear. But, so be it. We'll just have to think of another way to get inside. Hmm. Have you hit upon one? Hmm? Can you hear me? Uh, Temenos, we'll catch our death out here if we don't think of something. Inquisitor Temenos! Oh, hello there, Crick. <sighs> Is everything quite all right? You look dead on your feet. My apologies. I cannot help but concentrate quite deeply when I ponder a problem. <laughs> a bad habit, I admit. <laughs> hmm. Thanks to that bad habit, however, I've thought of something. The cathedral underwent significant repairs two years ago. Surely those who assisted with the repairs still live here. Perhaps interrogating them will shed some light on the way forward. Interrogating? What are you planning to do to them? Let us be off. Time for some questioning. <laughs> To work. I think not. Yes. Very well. <laughs> now die. Time for some question. <laughs> oh dear. Then how's that for you? To work. Holy life. Illuminate the dark. Where was I? Holy light! Illuminate the darkness!
time for... <laughs> Very well. <laughs> now die! <laughs> Where was I? Holy life! You need the dark. Oh, the smaller building east of the cathedral hides a subterranean passage no longer in use. Blessings of the sacred flame unto you, Vados, for this gift. I see, I see. I must say, I did not expect to be heading underground. The path is open, Crick. The path... Which you forcibly opened, despite being a messenger of the gods. And the gods did give their messengers flame to light the way forward. I did as the scriptures bade, Crick. I used the flame vested in me to open the way forward. Forgive us our sins, O oh gods. My goodness. Those of your ilk must lead an exhausting life. And how is it that people of your ilk get chosen to serve on the Inquisition? The Pontiff chooses us. It's quite simple, really. Hmm. The sacred flame flickers. This is an ill omen. What? I am overcome with unease. Nevertheless, we press on. To work. Then how's that for you? To battle! Very well. Holy life. You need the darkness. Ah, oh, goodness. What a tantrum that was.
Your Holiness! Please, no. What in the world? What's happening, Temenos? Stand back, Temenos. I... I will protect you. I appreciate your courage, but I need not be sheltered from any and all danger. Temenos... Here it comes, Crick. To battle, Crick! To battle! My shield shall hold! Oh dear. Uh, holy life! Illuminate the dark! Uh, to work. I'll take this. Bravo! Ah. Holy light! Illuminate the dark! Very well. Holy light! Illuminate the dark! <laughs> Where was I? I'll take this. To battle! <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! I must reform. Oh dear. Holy light! The darkness. Well done, Tempest. Hmm. Yeah! Where was I? Hmm. Holy light. You make the darkness. <laughs> it's agitated. Will you cower behind me yet again, dear Crick? You may as well get behind me if all you have to offer are cruel jokes. In the sacred name of the Thunderblade, I will smite this creature! Well now, you may prove reliable yet. In which case, I had better do my part. <sighs> to work. I'll take this. Where was I?
I'll take this. To battle! Very well. Atone for your sins. I think not. Where was I? I think not. The battle. <laughs> Bravo, little lad. Here, say your prayer. Holy life. Only the dark. Take this. Take this. To battle! Huh? <laughs> How could I fall? <laughs> to battle! May the sacred flame A new beginning. <laughs> to work. I think not. To work. I think not. Pontiff. Why? 
Why did this happen? And how? Steady yourself, Crick. We must keep our wits about us. Forgive me. Enormous claw marks down his back. The beast did this, without a doubt. He's yet warm. We're too late, but not by much. What a horrific accident. An accident? You view life through a keyhole, Crick. How do you mean? A cathedral window, shattered. A massive beast, roaming within. The pontiff, slain. Temenos. Hmm. Temenos? The truth lies in the flame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Given the current scene, I believe this is roughly how things looked before the Pontiff was slain. First, we must find out how the beast came to be here. It must have left a trace somewhere around here. Now, let us be led to the truth. Shards of the cathedral window are scattered across the floor. But this window contains powerful wards that keep evil at bay. So how did it get through? Hmm. This shard has a bit of dirt on it. As though it landed outside the cathedral. Suppose it did land outside the cathedral. The window could have been broken from within, and the shards retroactively scattered inside. In which case, this was not the beast's doing, but the work of another. Looks like someone burnt incense here. Smells of fool's poppy. A flower known to attract all manner of beasts, but especially those of the Varg family. In other words, it's no coincidence we found that foul creature here. It must have been lured to the cathedral. I see it now. The broad strokes of the scene have become apparent. Though, one thing still troubles me. The four toppled candlesticks. These are never seen in the cathedral but for a few important ceremonies. So, why were they out tonight? In fact, the pontiff once told me that the flames of these candles represent the sacred flame itself. <sighs> the gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. The truth lies in the flame. It's a recreation of the scripture. This is no mere coincidence. It was premeditated. Yes, yes. I do believe I have it figured, Crick. 
Ah, Temenos. Welcome back. The fragments of the window you see. If you look closely, they have flecks of dirt upon them. Which suggests it was broken from within, and the shards were scattered across the floor afterward. Add that to this sensor, which contained the lingering scent of an incense known to lure all manner of monsters. Y you mean... Someone shattered the window and attracted the beast, which killed his holiness. Then this is no accident, but a murder. I am all but certain. Who... Who would do such a thing? Indeed, that is the question. I believe we have a hint, however. Look. These candlesticks were carelessly toppled. You may suppose they were knocked aside when the pontiff was attacked. But these are only taken out for a handful of important ceremonies. So why were they out tonight, and surrounding the altar, no less? Hmm. The gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. That's a book of scripture! But why was it hidden away in the pulpit? The truth lies in the flame. I believe His Holiness sensed the impending danger and hid it for us to find. Hoping that someone would understand the significance of all this. There is something in this bit of scripture, a truth not yet uncovered. That will be all, Inquisitor Temenos. The Sacred Guard will take over from here. Why are you here? We got word of a beast prowling the area, but I see we're too late. And I see the Pontiff's been killed. <sighs> we will be asking for your statements later. Leave it once, and take nothing with you. Let us be off. Crick, I've something to ask of you. I need you to investigate something for me. Oh? And what might that be? above. Pontiff Yorg, father to our flock, was as the sacred flame onto us, scattering the shadows cast along our path. And we shall tell his story for generations to come. Your Holiness. The sacred flame itself wavers in sadness this day. We may never fully comprehend what we've lost. We meet again, Deputy. I wanted to speak with you since you discovered the scene. Did you take note of anything unusual? Let me think. No. Not a thing. We both know that's not true, Temenos. Reflect on what the dear Pontiff would think of your lies. 
We, the Sacred Guard, are an independent investigative body within the Church. One that has long upheld order and peace within the Church's purview. The Pontiff set up the Inquisition so that he could participate in that process. But now he's gone. Perhaps it's time you got to proselytizing. Have you anything useful to say, or have you simply come to crow at me? Is it not the duty of the Sacred Guard to protect the Church's influential members? Is the onus not, therefore, on you? <sighs> Heal, pup. You're still playing the Pontiff's loyal hound, I see. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have other matters to look into. To the library with us, Crick. You sicken me, Temenos. Why did you feel the need to provoke her, Temenos? I was merely pointing out the facts. By lying? You said you didn't notice anything at the cathedral. <laughs> I'd like to say that was born of simple expedience. They may be your compatriots, Crick, but they are not to be trusted. So, did you do as I asked? Well... I asked everyone who would have been in the cathedral that night. But not a soul saw anyone suspicious. Hmm. Which begs the question of how the Sacred Guard found out. Temenos? Wait, that's the book of scripture we found at the cathedral! Lower your voice, Crick. This was a parting gift from the Pontiff. We cannot be shouting about it from the rooftops. Is it of any significance? Hmm. It looks like any other book. Oh. There's a note between the pages. What does it mean? I've... Not a clue, but it's clearly of grave importance. Ah, if it isn't the Sacred Guard, do you still have need of us? Crick, you've been reassigned. Understood. You'll be informed of the location later. Pack your belongings. I've no need of you, Hound. <sighs> Reassigned as quickly as you were recruited. It was a short and beautiful friendship, Crick. It was hardly budding, Temenos. <laughs> I see you won't be taken in. We weren't in each other's company long. But I believe I see what His Holiness saw in you. Why you were chosen. It was an honor, Crick. What will you do now? I shall set off on a journey. A journey? Indeed. To find the one who murdered the Pontiff. I have a hunch, you see. And well, doubt is what I do. Take care of yourself, Temenos. 
I must take my leave. First, I must meet with Lucian, the theologian. The one who was with the pontiff, and thus is now of great interest to me. His holiness concerned himself with the movements of the heretics while alive. So an interrogation of Lucian may be in order. Hmm... Though I cannot help but wonder. The pontiff left that note in the scripture. He knew his own death was nigh. And soon night shall fall. Hmm. I must divine the truth behind those words. Temenos! I heard the news that you're leaving the village. Forgive me for not saying farewell, and this is to be a journey of healing. I must mend my broken heart. Or so I'd like you to believe. <laughs> Tis impossible to know what goes on in that mind of yours. But I know you'll conduct yourself well. I shall miss your orations of the history, Temino. Farewell. Farewell, then. Please, keep in touch. If you'd like, that is. <laughs> <laughs> 